good morning all of you i welcome all of you in this uh, la teaching learning session in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the one chapter that is called the capital and revenue expenditure and receipt myself professor isha raju choudhary in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the meaning of the expenditure types of the expenditure then we will discuss about the revenue expenditure and it with its example capital expenditure with its example deferred revenue expenses with its example student after that we will turn our talks towards the receipt there are revenue receipts and capital receipt first let us see what do you mean by the expenditure A student expenditure means uh, any type of amount paid by the company for getting the some benefits like asset or service from any other company and this asset or service is utilized for the furtherance of the business now in uh, our accounts there is a need of classification of the of expenditures there will be a question in your mind why the expenditure need to be classified let us see why the expenses are need to be classified see uh, there are many reasons but first we will understand the basic two if they are revenue expenses they will appear in the profit and loss account and if the expenses is revenue then it is also required for determining the net profit why because according to the our matching concept the revenue receipt minus revenue expenses will give us the profit so what is the revenue expenses we will see ahead but why here we are speaking about why need a we need a classification we need a classification so that to find out if it is a revenue expenses yeah our revenue items it will go to the profit and loss account and same thing this revenue is utilized for finding the net profit of the company because our matching com concept says net receipt min means revenue receipt minus revenue expenses but if it is a capital in nature then the capital item will appear in the balance sheet let us now student turn our talks towards see how you, what is the revenue expenses how you will recognize and i will give you the example also then we will turn our talks towards the capital expenditure so there are three types of expenditure are there first one is revenue expenditure second one is capital expenditure and third one is a deferred revenue expenses so what do you mean by the revenue expenses student revenue expenses are those expenses which are routine in nature it means the these are the business activity expenses this expenses the company has to do again and again it means these type of expenses are recurring in nature next important thing about this is as i had already mentioned accounting uh, according to the accounting sense it is shown in the debit side of our profit and loss account expenses are there they will come on the debit side okay so uh, as a student how you will recognize that these are the revenue expenses that is called the test for revenue expenses see these are the five tests for the revenue expenses first if any expenditure is do, done with the intention of a routine activity or business activity is called the revenue expenses like if any expenses you are doing for the maintenance of the asset because maintenance of the asset is a expenses which is a recurring in nature recurring means it uh, those are the expenses you have to do again and again so maintenance of any asset expenses is also coming in the revenue expenditure third test is non recoverable it means once these expenses you had paid you are not able to recover like wages paid so every month you are paying the wages if you are paying the wages you cannot recover it 
on any cost salary paid depreciation charge these are the expenses uh, which is gone it means gone fourth number test is recurring recurring i had already mentioned again and again if one month is over then again you have to pay the wages one year is over then you have to pay the lsc premium so pay, payment of lsc premium wages paid salary paid overhauling of a machinery repair of a machinery all this these are the examples of a uh, revenue expenses most important student these type of expenses means i am speaking about the revenue expenses are shown in the revenue statement the revenue statement means either debit side of trading account or debit side of profit and loss account and last test is for this revenue expenses is it reduce the funds or, or the profits of the company because uh, the company has to pay from their pocket and once it is paid it is uh, these type of uh, uh, cash or amount is not coming back so it will reduce the funds of the company let us see the more examples whatever uh, i had said apart from that i can I, we can discuss more examples of a revenue expenditure the more example of revenue expenses are wages or salary paid which i had already mentioned machine oil to lubricate electricity or power required to run the machinery or motor expenditure incurred in the ordinary conduct administrative uh, ad administration of a business expenses rent paid carriage on saleable goods manufacturing expenses commission paid legal expenses paid insurance paid all these are the examples of a revenue expenditure you just remember three to four things these are the recurring in nature second is non recoverable and ordinary business activity expenses let us now turn our talk towards the capital expenditure capital expenditure are those expenses whose benefit is for the longer period it means these expenses are non recurring in nature and how you will re recognize uh, these are the capital expenditure these expenses are done for purchase or acquiring of the asset whether it's a tangible asset or whether it is a intangible asset it increase the earning capacity of the business this is a these type of uh, expenses are done for the permanent improvement of any asset how as a student how you will recognize these are the uh, capital expenditure first test for capital expenditure is a, it's a long term benefit it means what the company once this does this expense its benefit is for the longer period second test is investing it means what expenses on this type of uh, uh, you know asset is a one type of investment for the company and next most important is that it is a recoverable it means what at the end of the life of the asset if the company will sell the company will get something in return so uh, these type of expenses are recoverable a student please now pay attention most important non recurring in nature it means what the company wants does this expenses is benefit is for the longer period the company doesn't have to do it again and again that's why these type of expenses we show in the balance sheet and uh, last uh, taste for it is like uh, you know it, it is having a dual effect means it affects on the fund but initially the funds will reduce and it also affects on the profit initially maybe profit will be lower but in future when with the same asset we will do the uh, you know uh, uh, very high business activities uh, the profit will increases so these are the tests for the capital expenditure let us see the example of capital expenditure see purchase of goodwill free land building lease machinery plant fixture trademark patent copyright design car lorry any asset you are buying and the benefit of those assets is for the longer period this type of expenses is called the capital expenses now student 
please look look these points which will give you the some more idea about the how, how you can distinguish the capital and revenue expenses as i had already uh, already mentioned that you know capital expenses is something for acquiring or improving the permanent asset right and here i had already mentioned about uh, the revenue expenses are routine in routine expenses second uh, important point is it in capital expenses increases the earning capacity of the business and where is the revenue expenses maintain the earning capacity uh, one more important uh, distinguish i had already mentioned it is a non recurring in ex, non recurring in nature it is a capital expense is a non recurring in nature where is the revenue expenses is a recurring in nature same thing if we will see about uh, the more points capital expenditure uh, benefit is for over several years it may be for many years till the life of the asset whereas the uh, you know benefit of revenue expenses is restricted to the only for the one year it's a uh, routine in nature it's a recurring in nature which uh, you know company has to do again and again and most as i had already mentioned that uh, uh, as per the accounting sense the capital expenses are shown in the balance sheet whereas the revenue expenses are shown in the trading and profit and loss account so this is a student difference between the uh, capital expenses and uh, revenue expenses student i think so uh, till now a little bit concept regarding the revenue and capital expenses is clear for you now we we'll take our discussion towards the what do you mean by the third type of expenses that is a deferred revenue expenses as soon as you see actually this third type of expenses come along with the revenue expenditure it means uh, these type of expenses are revenue in nature but the word is coming deferred it means there they are there is a, some difference between the revenue expenses and the uh deferred revenue expenses are i, I can in, in a very simple language if i have to tell you there this these expenses are between the revenue expenses and capital expenses see revenue expenses only for the one year where is a defer uh, where is a cap, uh, capital expenses is for the longer period now deferred revenue expenses is in between both it means what when you know the uh, number of years suppose if i am doing the advertisement I, I would like to give you the example uh, for this. If I am doing the advertisement for the five years, and I will pay expenses on from my pocket just now, so when I am paying this expenses from my pocket, it will become a revenue. But the benefit is not exhausted in a year. Its benefit is for the longer period. It means what? It is spread over the five years. It means, but I know this is these expenses only for the five years. not for a long longer period where in capital expenses we don't know the number of years but in deferred revenue expenses usually we know the number of years so when we know the number of years for which the this expenses is uh, done and definitely some more than one year those expenses are categorized in this category that is a deferred revenue expenses so uh, students please look at this i had already mentioned Uh, expenses from three to five years, or uh, any benefit which uh, expenses we are doing, but its benefit is for more than one year. It may be three years. It may be five years. When we know the terms, five years, seven years, so these type of expenses is called the deferred revenue expenses. Let us see what are the examples. Uh, sorry, taste for the uh, deferred revenue expenses. Th these are the three tastes for the. Uh, deferred revenue expenses first one is its nature i had which i had mentioned that uh, its benefit is for more than one one year one accounting year and uh, second one is uh, its benefit is not like a you know capital expenses uh, in a capital expenses we cannot say because if the life of a asset is for 5 years it may be 10 years maybe 15 years but uh, in the deferred revenue expenses uh, term is fixed right advertisement for 5 years white wash of building for the 2 years every 2 years so the uh, in deferred revenue expenses we know the uh, number of years 
and these type again uh, it, it is having a one uh, feature of uh, revenue expenses also once it is incurred once uh, these deferred revenue expenses are once they are incurred we cannot be they cannot be recovered we cannot recover it let us uh, students see the examples of uh, deferred revenue expenses heavy advertisement expenditure incurred in introducing a new line developing a new market cost of issue of shares here i would like to mention student cost of issuing the shares and debentures see uh, usually the preferred shares debentures are issued in the market for the five years 10 years so we know after 5 years after 10 years we have to redeem the uh, redeem the shares so whatever expenses we are doing for uh, issuing these shares is coming in the deferred revenue expenses same thing cost uh, of experiments discount on issue of debenture and preliminary expenses these are the examples of a deferred revenue expenses it means its benefit is not exhausted in a one year its benefit is for the longer period let us turn our talks now towards the second side of our uh, balance uh, profit and loss account one side is our expenses and another side is our receipt now students remember receipts of a business is also classified into the two categories one is capital receipt and another is a revenue receipt till now you are very clear that capital means once in a lifetime of that particular asset or that that particular activity so same thing applicable here with the receipt also when we are speaking about the capital receipt it means those receipt which are non recurring in nature see take example i had here i had given you the example also if a partner or proprietor or shareholder they are getting a capital in the business they will not get a capital again and again right so whatever capital they are bringing in the uh, business is called the capital uh, receipt or capital income of the business any sum received from the debenture holder any loan loan we will take again and again but one loan we will take only once so it's a capital receipt if i am taking another loan it will it will come in the another category but it is not same so it's a capital receipt for the uh, business and student please pay attention over here this is also a most important sale of fixed asset or sale of long term investment here now we are not speaking about short term here we are speaking about the long term investment so uh, asset we will of a business we ne we will never sell again and again same thing uh, investment which we sell for uh, some purpose we will not sell investment and again and again it's not a sale right so this is uh, uh, again coming uh, whatever amount we are saying by sale of these uh, fix a set or investment that is also coming in the capital receipt now let us see what is this thing coming in the revenue receipt or income as the name suggests revenue receipt means what routine income daily income this is a income received by the business again and again by doing the business activity trading activity right base example is a sale whatever business activity we are conducting whatever item we are selling we will settle it again and again and income from this is called the revenue receipt or revenue income same thing we are, if we are receiving the commission if we are receiving fees we are receiving interest interest all this are recurring in nature we will sell again and again in a year we will get a commission for every sale we will get a interest every year same thing dividend every quarterly every six monthly semi yearly yearly so uh, income from these type of uh, activities is called the revenue receipt now please student pay attention one more thing there are in income side there are two things are there one is a receipt and another is a profit so please don't mix up your receipt and profits profit is 
little bit different from the receipt. Let us see what is a profit. And again, the, there are two types of profits are there. Which are they? Let us see. Before we go to the pro profit, student, please have a look uh, for two minutes for the capital, distinguish between the capital receipt and uh, revenue receipt. Cap uh, as I, we had already discussed, capital receipt is coming out of sale of the fixed asset and uh, issue of shares and debentures. We will not issue the shares, debentures again and again. And on revenues receipt side, if we will see, we will get an income from the sale of goods or rendering any services like banking is banking sector is giving the services same thing insurance company is giving the services transport company is giving the services so whatever income we are giving earning by giving the services is called also coming in the revenue receipt okay now let us uh, look at the profits there are two types of profits are there students one is capital profit and another is a revenue profit what do you mean by the capital profit we will see first capital profit is a profit on account of the sale of the assets or in connection with the share of the uh, share connection with the share capital capital income is an income which uh, which does not related to the operation of the of operation of the business let us see the a, a very base example by reading the definition you will not come to know but with the example at the point will be very clear to you capital profit when we are issuing the shares and when we are issuing the shares on at premium right so whatever premium we are getting is a profit it is not an income whatever share amount we are getting is the income but along with the share our company name is very good and we are selling our shares at a premium then the, that premium 10 rupees premium 20 percent 20 rupees premium whatever premium we are getting is a profit not an income same thing if we are selling the suppose take example student i'm giving the another example suppose i have a, one asset of rupees three lakh fifty thousand and i am uh, sorry I have a asset of rupees 2 lakh and I am selling it at rupees 3 lakh 50,000. So difference between 2 lakh and 3, 3 lakh 50,000 is a 1 lakh 50,000. This 1 lakh 50,000 is our profit. So 2 lakh is my income. This 2 lakh is my income. Whereas this one lakh fifty thousand is my capital profit so no you have to student real note here you whenever you have to record the profit or capital gain it's a one lakh fifty thousand not a two lakh two lakh is the capital income where is a one lakh fifty thousand is our profits capital profit let us see what is the revenue profit revenue profit are those which are entered in the ordinary course of the business. Revenue income is an income which is arise out of and in the course of the regular operation of the business concern. Revenue profit is appear in the profit and loss account and revenue profit and the revenue income are the same only. Let us see the example of revenue profit. Profit made on sale of goods. It means if uh, uh, you're selling the goods, uh, which costs you 8 rupees and you are selling it at the 10 rupees then 2 rupees is your profit which is called the revenue profit and next example is income received from letting out uh, of the business property see property you had administered that is a one-time investment but whatever income you are getting from this uh, property by giving it on the rent is called the uh, revenue profit for for the business or the for the company and dividend received on uh, investments or interest received on investment is the example of a revenue profit with this uh, we uh, student we had I, I hope so uh, this discussion has cleared about you different types of uh, your expenses it has cleared you what is a different types of income 
how the income differ from the uh, profits a student on the basis of this discussion in the next lecture we are going to solve the sum based on the uh, classification of a revenue capital deferred revenue expenses and obviously a few items will be for the revenue receipt and revenue profits capital receipt and capital profits thank you